welcome back. Now you can say what you want about the production team here and Lord knows we do. But sometimes they do throw us an L bone to keep us poor presenters happy and literally this week they have thrown us a bone. Why? Because Martin O'Donnell from the 12 Hotel in Galway is here and he's cooking ribeye steak. Good morning, Chef. Good morning. The excitement is building here this morning. Huh? Only since about Wednesday when I heard <laughs> you were coming on and doing this. This, this, could, this is so far up my street, it's knocking at my hall door. Super. I am absolutely thrilled. It's such a lovely, simple, quick, easy dish. A few beautiful local Irish produce, the best yeah. of the best. Um, so to start off with, we have our beautiful oh. ribeye steak right here has that lovely marbling of fat. It's an Irish Hereford Prime brand that we use right across the hotel in the 12th. Um, we dry age it ourselves in the dry aging chambers, so 28 you days. Are, you belong to the school where you oil the pan, not the steak. That's my preference, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, and when I have a nice new shirt on as well, a little piece yeah. of kitchen paper over the top, even when I'm at home, Simon, I do the same. It stops the oil splashing everywhere, splashing everywhere black yeah. splash and everything. Same as the wife giving out as well. And you don't season before it goes to the pan either? For me, no. Um, okay. And even in the hotel, if we're char grilling, I wouldn't either. Um, okay. So in with the steak. Now that pan is hot. It's hot as it Screaming. can get. Damn near, okay. yeah. So I'm not going to touch it. I want to leave it. I'm not going to shake it, move it. Just leave it, okay? Okay. So we're going to work our kind of, our garnish then for this. Um, we have some beautiful organic Irish mushrooms from Gary Hinch, absolutely they look gorgeous fantastic. selection of mushrooms. So this for me is kind of like a take on steak, mushrooms, garlic, except we're using these gorgeous um, Irish organic mushrooms. Yeah. A little bit of oil, in they go. A little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And then we're going to come back and add some fresh wild garlic. So this has been picked locally, of course, Beautiful. towards the 12. Smell it. Fantastic. So we're just going to wilt that at the last second. So you're going to have your steak, your mushrooms, your garlic. It's going to be absolutely delicious. And then one other simple part of the dish is a flatbread. So this is quite simply velvet cloud natural, any natural yogurt uh, and flour. So we have 220 grams of each flour and yogurt. Put that in the bin. And we mix it with our hand. Quite simple. And then we take a little bit of pepper and some herb de Provence. So we have... But that's it? That's it. We give it a good mix. Ooh. And you know, Velvet Cloud are one of those Irish producers that just produce a top range of exactly. products, aren't they? Uh, absolutely stunning. They're a great Great, great to great support company. the local brands as well. Yeah, Get out and support Irish. them. Usually, even the flavour comes through at the end. So once you have all that mix, you give it a really good mix. It comes to a paste. Okay. And then you let it rest. So it's similar to like a pasta or a, a pastry yeah, dough. Yeah, yeah and you let it rest, and then you roll it out on your table to about as thick as a coin. Very good. And you get this lovely flatbread. How long would you rest it for, Chef? About 30 minutes, maybe okay. an hour. You know, just cling film the bowl. It'll come to a paste like pasta or pastry. And then roll it out nice and simple, thick as you want, about a euro coin. And you cut the size as well that you want. So you can cut small ones, you can cut big ones. So we're back to our steak. Now you haven't done a thing there. You put it in, let it and do that's it. Thing. <laughs> and save my shirt. That's yeah. key. Oh, yeah, We're just going to turn them over. Look at that first color on that. Absolutely delicious. Holy moly. And again, <laughs> just going to put this back over it again. Stop the oil. And do nothing. And you still haven't seasoned it. Seasoned it. Still haven't seasoned it. I'm going to season it in a couple of seconds. Okay. Going to rev up our mushrooms. Okay. So these mushrooms, lovely, lovely quick thing to cook. Super yeah. delicious. I'm going to put a little stick of thyme in with the mushrooms. Okay. And. <laughs> our, good oh. old, our good old favourite, oh. Irish country butter. You can't be. Now, we're just going to use a little bit for the mushrooms because there okay. will be a good bit in the steak. So a little knob, in we go. That goes right there. <laughs> yep. And look at that. Absolutely Beautiful. simple, simple. We're going to come to our mayonnaise. So we have our bread working. So with that flatbread, it's just popped into a dry frying pan. Okay. Nice and hot. No oil, nothing. So you have that flatbread into a dry pan. Yeah, a dry pan. You do it a few times, you get your lovely flatbread. Lovely. You can do them ahead and just warm them, just like I've done. I Very prepared good. these this morning, yeah. and now we're just warming them up. Very good. We're going to prepare our mayonnaise. Shop-bought, simple mayonnaise, and some miso. Lovely spiciness to this one. Absolutely delicious. In, when, in it goes. The spicier you want it, the more you add. You could add sweet chilli, you could add even barbecue sauce, you could add garlic mayonnaise. Very good, yeah. It's just to give that mayonnaise a lovely kick, yeah. you know? So, we're starting to rock and roll. Take out our 
Look at the colour on that. That's a beautiful crust. So we're going to get <coughs> a small time. knob of butter in the pan. And then another small knob of butter. And then another small knob. <laughs> <laughs> One for good luck. Uh, we're going to yeah. add in some fresh herbs. And now we're going to give it a nice season. So sea salt, lovely. In it goes. And some cracked black pepper. Look Absolutely that. delicious. I'm going to leave that for a couple of seconds. And I love this this procedure now when you base because that seasoning is going to go into that butter. Exactly. And you're seasoning that steak with that beautiful hot butter. Look at Absolutely that. Absolutely delicious. Okay, so we're back to our mushrooms. We're going to pop in our wild garlic. Very simple. We're just going to tear it in half. Okay. In it goes. And again, that's just going to wilt down like fresh spinach. A couple of seconds. Very good. Ooh, out she comes. Gorgeous. Now with our steaks. What I've done here, Simon, is like you'd know yourself, we've rested them. Yeah. So when I be at home, I take out, how long is that? For me, this one is medium, it's quite thin. It's probably eight and a half, nine ounce steak. I would take it out onto a tray or flat plate, something like that, and a little bit of our butter over the top, and also our herb. So that just rests, for maybe five minutes. Yeah. And we're gonna to start to build our dish. Wow, wow, wow. So, quite simple. We're gonna take our lovely, Yogurt flatbread. Yep. Our mayonnaise. Fan of miso. Uh, yes, absolutely, Good. chef. Super. In fairness, you can put it on a beer mat and I leave it. <laughs> Anything you cook, chef. Some of our wild garlic and Smell organic mushrooms. Smell that garlic, it's just fab. Let's take out our herb, put it back in the pan. And yeah. then as we said, this steak we had cooked just before we got That's started. Right. Yeah. So we're just going to carve it nice oh and Lord thin. Lord almighty. So it is for me, as you requested there, sir. Yes, that Nicely is medium, medium, chef, yeah. So it was cooked to order. Pour that over the top. My word. We've got some lovely wild chervil picked in the forest over the last couple of days. Some watercress. <laughs> Simon, I can see the drool. <laughs> I'm actually dribbling oh. in the counter here. I can hear it. And we've got yeah. a little dribble of Irish, Irish rapeseed oil. So such a simple, simple dish. You have your three things, you have your mushrooms, your flatbread with natural sheep's yogurt, and of course the pièce de la résistance, the Irish Hereford prime ribeye steak. It does seem such a shame to, <laughs> to disturb this. I have uh, a queue going out the door, so we're going to build. Yeah, you do have a queue. A, a, a little, another one. I've never right. seen so many people in the building as I have this morning. Well, when our sausage rolls didn't arrive, I got some strange Well, let's not looks. talk about that. But I'm hoping that I'm making up for it here. Good job. So as I said, some lovely, beautiful Irish Hereford Prime ribeye with organic Irish mushrooms, some fresh wild garlic, miso mayonnaise, and a stick. I mean, that's bordering on religious for me. <laughs> that is absolutely stunning. And I know there'll be a few out there that'll be, oh, it's, it's a bit pink. No problem, yeah. just leave the steak in the pan for that extra three or four yeah. minutes. It'll come up to well done. Let it rest is important. Oh, Martin, and then we so go. good, so simple. Brilliant recipe as always. Thank what a so pleasure much. to see you. Thank, Thank you. you, Martin. Thank you. And you're back in the room. Full recipe details are up on the website. I'm knocking to Martin himself at the 12 Hotel in Galway and see what he's up to. He will fix you up, won't you? Yes, sir. Well, coming up, our marking World Down Syndrome Day after this short break. See you in a minute.